Was a uh, massive result for the club tonight on to round seven of the FA Cup. Talk us through the game. Yeah, I mean, look, we uh, we spoke about it after our weekend loss. We uh, spoke about it. So the, the best thing about this week is it's a quick turnaround and uh, it's an FFA Cup and an opportunity for us to get through the next stage. So we uh, we really, really worked ourselves up uh, to be prepared for this game. Um, and um, I think the show tonight, we were quite dominant in possession tonight. And... Um, just need, need to find that uh, that second and third goal tonight, which uh, didn't didn't end up happening. But um, I think it was a solid performance overall. Is it good to bounce back and sort of build that confidence back up again? Just most definitely. I mean, you know, no one wants to lose a game. Uh, last week was a little bit frustrating for us uh, as a group because I thought uh, we actually played well. And um, you know, most people out there will sit there and go, well, it was a 3-1 result and you played well, so how does that work? So it was a little bit confusing and um, it was hard to sort of, I suppose, analyse to a certain degree. But um, you know, the quick turnaround for us uh, really did us a good favour and um, put us in a position to obviously win the game and um, look forward to the next game. Uh, chances went begging in the first half and it just took a moment from um, Marino to put us ahead. Just thoughts on that free kick? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, Marino's obviously a quality footballer like, like the rest of our group and, um, you know, when you've got these experienced campaigners who uh, can do a bit of magic like that, I suppose, put you in good stead. So, um, look, you know, he played well tonight and um, backed up a, another game and for a player his age, I think is a, he was tremendous tonight and, uh, and the rest of the group as well. I know, I know the bigger goal in this competition is to go as far as you can, but is it good to sort of tick off a little milestone in reaching, you know, the club hasn't reached this stage yet in its history? Yeah, no, most definitely. We, uh, we said that just, to, uh, just after the game, I said to the group, um, well done and to, to a massive achievement because the club had never been this far before in, in, in the actual FFA Cup. So, and you know, the club's ecstatic and uh, all our supporters are as well and, um, and the players deserve all the credit. And, and just talking from the club point of view again, um, all four games in round seven get live streams. So it's good, a good chance for the club to get some national exposure as well. Yeah, uh, you know, national exposure is uh, what everyone's searching for, and um, I suppose we are putting alternative magic on the map at the moment, which is a, a good thing for our club. Um, look, you know, we take it game by game, and um, if it means uh, the next round uh, and we get through the next round, we'll be ecstatic even more, and um, we we'll just keep uh, making alternative magic um, noticeable. And backing up again on Saturday, it's another long trip this time, Langwarren. Yeah, they, they've been on a great roll. Um, they've had some good results in the last couple of weeks, and uh, they'll be a tough opponent, that's for sure. And um, you know, we're, we'll start preparing ourselves as of tonight, and make sure our recovery's uh, there, and uh, make sure everyone pulls up well, and uh, re refresh everyone. And uh, Thursday will be a, a one-off session, and Friday day another day off, and prepare for our long journey down to Langwarren and um, try and get maximum points. Thanks, mate.